All right, Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 is finally here, and we got two new weapons, the BP-50 and the Ram 9, and we're gonna get both interstellar camo in this video. All right, we are playing the new map. I have not played this map yet. Oh my god. All right, so this is the new map stash house with the BP-50. This literally looks like a copy and paste from Vanguard because this same weapon was in uh, Vanguard, but hopefully this gun is good. <laughs> Whoa, he spawned right in front of me. What the fuck? Oh, I just killed him and he spawns right in front of me. Oh, yes. Well, that was something. This map is extremely small. That, that's all you can say. Small. A few moments later. Alright, so we got the BP-50 maxed out. It took like an hour, an hour and a half. And I already got three camo challenges done. Get 50 operator kills with the BP-50. Get 50 operator kills while ADS with the BP-50. Get 15 headshot kills with the BP-50. And now we need 25 operator kills while tactical stance with the BP-50. After that, we finally unlock the gold challenge. And then we'll go straight off from there. There's another two. Three, four, ah. This is going by fast, isn't it? There it is. All right, now we need to get 10 operator kills while strafing for the gold challenge. I'm still using tax stance just cause it's built for tax stance. So me using anything else would not be the best. Fuck you. And there's a gold challenge. Now for the forge challenge, we need three operator kills with one magazine. Luckily we have the 45 round on, so that should be easy. There we go, reload. Yo, you guys in your shotgun! That could have been Forge Camo right there. Alright, all we need is the price of this challenge, which is the double kills in tax stand. So we are back in tax stand and. So yeah, we need. Double kills in tax stance. One, two. There we go, double kill. Oh, wait, priceless. There we go, priceless camo. That took a minute. All right, so here's the Interstellar BP-50 assault rifle. And here it is, priceless camo. All right, so now we're using the Rival 9 and we just have to level it up, so. Alright, so the Ram 9 is finally maxed out, and we are almost done with all the camo challenges. We got the 50 kills done, and we're almost done with the 25 hipfire kills. One more crouch kill, and by then we should have the 10 kills while using your tactical. After that, we unlock the gold challenge, which we need 15 operator kills while in tax stance. And then we have Forge, Priceless, and then we'll have Interstellar for the Ram 9. Alright, so we just need 4 hipfire kills and 1 crouch kill. This should be easy. There's one hipfire kill. Two, three, and there we go, done, they're done, there we go, gradient globs, now we have to get one crouch kill, and that should be done, alright, now we have to get our stun kills, the worst part. Confirmed. 
No, get over here! Oh, there's all the stun kills. Now we need tox stance kills. And gilded, there we are. So now for the fourth challenge, we just need 15 kills after ADS. There's Forge Camo, there we go. For our last camo challenge, we have 10 operator kills mid-air. Now, I don't know how hard that is. I feel like this is the first ever time this was a challenge. I don't remember doing this. I'm assuming if it says jump shot, it counts. Jump shot. Jump shot, one more. That should be it. That should be priceless. Here we go, priceless. We're done. And here is the Interstellar Ram 9 SMG. This was extremely fast to get. It was pretty surprising. And here is the priceless Ram 9 SMG. These two weapons were extremely fun to use. And the camo challenges were really easy. I was able to level up both in like two hours combined. And that's pretty surprising considering that all the weapons took about like two hours each. So these two weapons were really fast. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with the Call of Duty content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.